Hello everybody, how's your day going? And welcome back to another Dredge video, where in today's video, we are going to be undocking and hopefully turning our light on because for some reason it got dark. But it is okay because it is now morning time. If you remember in the last video, we collected two of those fathomless flames. I, or my business today, is to get the last fathomless flame. But of course we're not gonna be going into that guy's path. I'm thinking, I think it's the, well, first of all, let's look at the map. I think the only one we're missing is this one over here. Because we're here, and this, the ancient temple is over here. I don't even know if you guys can see my mouse. I think I have it enabled. But the ancient ruins is over here, and then, yeah, I just think it's there. So, that's just where I'm going to go to, at least. Uh, but yeah, I hope you all are doing amazingly. And we want to try to avoid, oops, we're not on our, even on our haste. I'm gonna try to avoid those guys because they're not gonna be very good to us. But that's okay. I, I mean, I think they're more scared of me than I am of them, to be honest with you. Uh, never mind. Uh, of course, they're all after me. There's like five of them after me right now. No! Oh, guys, please! I just started recording, and this is what you're gonna do to me? You know what? This is what this is for. No! I can't even use it. He's coming! Let me out of here! Okay, I think he's pretty far away. We've got a chance. I just don't want to blow my engine out. There's so many people blow their engines out when they're doing this. I can hear him. I can sense his cheeks. Okay, we're good. That's what I thought, guys. You better swim away before I come back. Don't hit that rock. And is this the last one that we're looking for? It is. Yes. Mark my words. This will be the final one that we need. A stone shrine. An upright slab bears a carving. Two malformed fish writhing under the sun. A lower slab holds two shallow grooves. Oh, so what are we supposed to put in here? So I'm thinking we need to go fishing for a couple of these fish. That's what I'm getting at. I'm really hoping that's what we need to do because those purple squares have always confused me. There's a lot of those things. Oh, and it looks like mummy piranha is right over there. So, oh, there's no way you just heard me. I'm out, I'm out, I am out of here. Yes, it's okay because you are gonna be scared of this volcano. Yeah, go away with your fat butt cheeks. I do not need you. I don't need any of y'all. So, I'm pretty sure it is the same fish that we're looking for. Um, guys, I'm not even in your territory anymore. What is the point of this? Like, you're just gonna make me blow my engine again for no reason. If I were these fish, though, I think I would be out at night. It's always these... I'm pretty sure I caught one of these fish before. Like, the type of fish that we're looking for. I'm pretty sure. So, that's why I'm kind of upset right now, because I had them at some point. It's not these. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be, like, rare fish, too. And I bet you they're not going to be, like, crab pots. Um, but I'll take this crab, because why not? It's going to give us some money. I think this one's out of business, because I think it flashes... Oh, never mind. I was going to say that it's... Well, I didn't really want to pick it up. But I was going to say that it flashes when there's something in it. Are you guys one of those people where if you play this game, you have to have your haste enabled 24-7? Because that's me. If my haste is not, like, usable, I'm going to be so upset. Or I have to have it, like, at hand. Uh, take all. Not enough space. Why did I not know that there was not enough space? Well, at least we got these guys we can sell. Remember, it's late now, so I'm specifically looking for those fish. Are they considered volcanic fish, though? You know, I just had a light bulb, actually. I think that these fish are probably... That's coastal. We can't fish in coastal. They're probably going to be volcanic, and they're most likely going to be in the place where that piranha is. So we're going to immediately go to the fish market here. Avoid that thingy that's going to signal a crack and come after us. And then I guess we'll head in into the dangerous night to try to catch two of those fish. Because I don't know how long these guys are going to take to catch, to be honest with y'all. But it doesn't really matter. I don't know why that piranha's out at night. Does she ever sleep? Because it seems like every time I'm out, she's out. And that's not very good for her. Maybe her babies sleep at night. Up, oh, cue the Harry Potter music. Uh, she's actually like right over here. I need to be very careful. There's a place we can blow up here. I love how it's like you're in like an ancient town in this area and it's like half underwater. Why would you want to blow up that like one space though? Uh, this is scary even with our intense light. Even with our lighting system. Alright guys, I don't think that this is what we need. It's not what we need, but I'm going to fish it up because maybe we'll get some sort of... What was the fish called? Uh, wrapped shark. I Is this one of the things that he needs? It, uh, one of the things that that thing needs, I have no idea. It said it needed, like, uh, whatever those fish were called. It's a purple fish, which means it's rare. So, I mean, I can try to put it in there. 
<clears throat> Let's just hope it doesn't go bad. And I also need to remember where that place is. I'm taking this very slowly. Yep, something's rare. Screw that spot. We're going to the rare spot. It's volcanic. I don't... Eh, it's going to be purple because it's rare. So, uh, Cusk Eel. Now, this would be the eel that I want to see. It's not rare, though. Oh, that's not the rare thing. I thought that was going to be it. No, oh, I missed it, darn it. Oh, it's so annoying. I always miss the rare stuff. Wait, we might actually have another chance. Wait, ready? Very strategically, Infernal Eel. Uh, I think that would be the eel we're looking for. Is that it now? Do we have all the stuff that we need? I, I think it said you needed, like, it might be a specific type of fish. I don't know. It's, well, it's got to be found in this area, obviously, right? But for the time being, I think we're going to just leave these guys alone and then head back. <laughs> what is that sound they make? Is that even the sound that piranhas make? I've never heard what piranhas make because they live so deep underwater. Okay, let's just go this way. And don't want to lose anything now. Whoopee! Hey, you better run away. Uh, please be what you're looking for. If it's not, I will probably cry myself to sleep. Is that good? Yes, that's what I needed. Uh, the rock splits with an almighty crack. It crumbles away, revealing its core. Yep, that's exactly what I need. What's an encrusted talisman? Install time, four hours. A stone tablet surrounded by tooth and bone. A glyph, uh, a glyph of a hook is carved into the center. So where would that need to be installed? Does it need to be installed? Is it like an engine? I think it needs to be installed here. I don't know. I, this might be our available. Let's check to see. Is this volcanic? No, I don't think we really need this in this area, so let's just uninstall that, put it to storage, and just see what this thing's going to do. Maybe it's going to give us good luck. I have no idea. But the point being is, if I actually have it, yes, we do. We got this fathomless flame right here. You guys hear that? I'm hearing growling, and it does not sound pretty, and I'm lagging like crazy, but that's okay. No, I'm so happy to be gone in like a few minutes, guys, or at least once this quest is done, we're going to be moving on. There he is. There's our big fella. I gotta go see this, uh, whatever his name is again. What was his name again? It was like Faye. Well, we didn't know his name. It was like Fanatic, I think. I, I don't know if that's what it was called, but it's all good with me. I have your last piece, Mr. Sir. We're just gonna call him Mr. Sir from Holes, you know. <laughs> Mr. Sir. Fanatic? Uh, it's, I, I, it's not where we need to go yet. I'm dumb. Let's go to the stone. It's the statues. Uh, let's look at the right statue, because that's the one we're missing. Yippies. Put that in. A cold flame in the statue's hands. Preparations are complete. The fanatic awaits. Ooh, he waits. They make that sound so creepy, like, the fanatic awaits. What is it? What do you mean, what is it? I literally just did your task for you, and you're like, get out of my face. The flames are lit. Ah, I can feel it. The chill of the deep touches us now. It is time. Come. You follow him up the steps of the temple. At the top is a black stone altar. Stacked high upon the altar are layers of dark, damp wood. He draws the antique pocket watch from his robe. It sways hypnotically in the breeze. Are you going to put a trance on me, bro? I must warn you, I was trained very well. I could not be put in a trance. It is almost yours. May it mark the start of your journey. And the end. Am I going to die or something? What does that mean? Still holding the pocket watch in one hand, he clambers atop the pyre and raises his scroll. He begins to chant. Uh, d what are you doing? He ignores you. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, the wind picks up. Swirling seas spray around the altar. Uh, cold blue flame rises from a sudden wood at his feet. Stop this! What are you doing? His chanting grows louder. I knew that this, was got this guy was bad from the very beginning. Uh, the freezing blaze climbs his legs. His chanting continues, no pain detectable in his voice. He lifts his arm skyward. Seconds later, the infernal engulfs him. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's not very good. Was he just gone now? It rages for a moment, then abruptly dies away. A cold mist pools around the floor of the temple, briefly before the wind sweeps it into the sea. No trace of the fanatic remains. Well, he was a nice man. I'll say that. The pyre is cold and damp. Inspect the pyre. Relic disc- Yes, this was our relic. We got it for the Mr. Trader. You take the pocket watch. It's freezing cold. It vibrates in your palm. Clock hands spinning wildly below the cracked face. Is that it? Does that just mean he died? Well, first of all, let's sleep so I can kind of, you know, take this all in. Maybe it's just a dream. Does this mean we get his house now? Can we live here? 
I gotta say though, guys, I really don't want to live here. I prefer the Marrows. If I had to choose a place of re residence other than the Marrows, it would definitely have to be that beach spot. But, although that Kraken would be tickling at our toes all night long. And I guess that's it. I mean, that was kind of a, like, a sad way to go, I guess, but... I kind of had a bad feeling about him from the very start, guys. I'm sure you did too. He just didn't seem normal. He seemed a little off or like a little distracted, but it's okay. Nothing can get by me like that. There's nothing that you can throw over my head that I won't catch. Uh, fish market. Yeah, I love the sound of rain against the roof on my cabin. Is there anything better? Um, actually, I don't think so. I listen to rain sounds when I sleep sometimes. Did you hear that big bang, by the way? Yeah, I know. The, the the fanatic over there died. Only 33 bucks for those three fish? I don't think she even cares in the slightest, to be honest. Alright, so I'm thinking what we need to do is go head, this, head to the trader. Because that looks like our next thing to do. Because it's the thing I know what to do, at least from here. Oh, we can actually teleport from home. What am I doing? There is manifest. Ha-pow! Yes, there we go. Oh. I can see why it teleports us to the collector now. If this is the collector. I've got your relic, sir. Let's go to the Rune Mansion. You climb the broken steps to the old mansion, the waves swelling and crashing against the basalt columns that surround you. You pause before crossing the threshold. Deliver the relic, I guess? He approaches, drawing closer with an incessant ticking. You have the pocket watch? Indeed I do, mister. You take out the watch. Its once frozen hands are now inexplicably twitching in a rhythmic struggle. Trying, but failing to move forwards, you place it in front of the Collector. Though it has been some decades since I last laid eyes upon this, the sound of its mechanisms have grown no less unpleasant. And with that, our collection is complete. I must admit, I am surprised. I did not think you had the determination for such a job. Well, clearly you were wrong, because I do. And I just noticed, these guys' fingers are kind of weird. Now, with these five relics in our possession, only one thing remains. I suspect you know by now. Know what? It will become apparent soon enough. We must make our final voyage. This time, I will be with you. I am ready, I guess? Warning, you are entering the final phase of the game. Your progress will not be safe from this point onwards. Do you wish to continue? No, let's not continue. Uh, so be it. Return when you are prepared. So that's the end of the game then. I don't know. I think that there's still one more place that we have to visit that we didn't visit yet. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, that is, whoa, okay, that was, like, really just all of a sudden out there, right? I did not know the game was just about to end, but I'm thinking if we look on the map here, I think there's one more place at, uh, Devil's Spine that we did not yet go to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find it, and when I find it, I'll get back with you guys. Now, this place over here, I think, is the one place that we haven't been to on the map. That's why I didn't want to end the game yet, because I, I I didn't know that the end of the game was that close. I mean, I knew it was coming, because this was our last place of business, but there's just this one place that we haven't been to yet, so I kind of just want to see what all this is about, because it says our progress will be lost, right? And it looks like it's a just a campsite. Oh, well, what's this thing over here? Is there a place we can, like, dock up here? What's that red thing under the water? Do you guys see that? I mean, I suppose we are in still volcanic regions. It's getting late, so I might actually want to use this campsite. Just kind of see what's going on. Can I dock at the campsite? Please? Okay. You and dock next to an old rowboat. Somebody is here. He's hunched over by the campfire, muttering to himself. You cautiously approach. Yeah, it's a good thing we came over here. Oh, it's another old guy. Did you... Did you throw it back? I don't know what you're talking about. The buck! I think you've mistaken me for someone else, sir. I'm not seeing things. It's really you, isn't it? Are you okay? He turns away, wringing his hands. He speaks to the fire. It was him. Him and his damned wife. They dredged up that old book. But something, something cloaked in fog, followed it out. Right through uh, uh, the boat. Boom! The man makes crude explosion noises and motions wide with his hands still talking to the fire as though, as though pantomiming a story to a child. It spoke. It said it was coming uh, for our breath, that we wouldn't be needing it soon. And then darkness crashed down. An age later, some of us washed up on the shore, and him, still clutching that book. Throw it back, we cried, as the fog rolled ashore. We thought, surely it could still be undone. What are you talking about? Silver and crimson, the book 
covered in her blood. You're not making any sense, buddy. Throw it back! The man closes his eyes tight as he holds back tears. His voice falls to a whisper. Please, the lighthouse keeper. She saw. She knows where it came from. Where it... where it needs to go. Uh, tell me more about this book. Silver and crimson. Silver and crimson. He rocks back and forth, staring through the flames. Uh, what do you know about the fog? It cloaks that columnicious thing. It's evil. Haven't you felt it? What does the lighthouse keeper have to do with this? She saw it all. That ruinous day. Ask her. Beg her. Tell her. I... He trails off, his face collapsing in sorrow. Well, I guess that's it for us. Are we just gonna leave? Go to sleep now, I guess, just so we can head back to... La Maros. That was really weird. I feel like this guy's been stranded on this island for quite some time, because you kind of go delirious. He looks like he's being deprived of food. Uh, so I guess we just got one more thing to do then, guys. I also forgot to mention that there was actually a coelacanth fish somewhere in the Devil's Spine. I didn't want to collect it because I didn't want to ruin it for you guys because I don't want to do absolutely everything or it'll all be ruined for you. Trust me, I know how that feels. But if I had to give you guys any tips for when you play this game, one of the three rare fish that you needed from uh, this place over here, uh, where is it? From Gale Cliffs, one of the three fish are in Devil's Spine, and it is the coelacanth. So I didn't say anything, but just so you guys know. But without further ado, I think we're just going to manifest our way back so we can go see what this uh, guy is all about. The game is about to end. Um, I wonder what's going to happen. Are we just going to sail off into the sunset? <laughs> is it gonna be, am I going to find like another boat? Am I going to find a girl boat that I spend the rest of my days with? Is the mayor going to promote me to being the new mayor and he retires, which would be the dream? What is it? I am ready. We must make one final voyage. This time I uh, will be with you. Okay. Yes, and I'm ready. Okay, yeah, it says the game's about to end. Oh, this is so sad. Okay, I guess. Warning, one more time. Your progress will not be saved from this point. Onwards, are you sure you wish to continue? Yes. The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. All right, waiting for the right time. Dun 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 Now, our destination is the open expanse to the west of Greater Marrow. It's marked on the map. Alright, am I driving? We must not tarry on the open waters, not with such a significant cargo. Make haste. The collector is aboard your vessel. Alright, uh so where are we supposed to go? Are we supposed to go okay, we can't sleep. This is where we need to go, right? Yeah. All right, let's do that. Beep, beep, beep. It said we need haste, though, right? Yeah, okay, haste. Did say we... Oh, I, I forget what he said. Did he say don't use haste? I don't know. I think this is... Oh, I think I just realized. Those... Is that where you need to go? Is that what that light is for? Oh, I'm so dumb. This whole time, I didn't even think that that's what the light meant. I mean, it might still not mean that. I don't know, but... He said, like, full haste ahead or something. I don't know. I don't know why we're traveling at night. That seems kind of not good. I think this is where we're supposed to go, right? In this general area? I don't know, but I'm heading this way. Our eye is going to probably start spazzing out. Is there going to be a kraken or something that comes after us? This does not seem safe at all. Yep, I think we've just arrived at where we need to be. Hello? All right, Collector, inspect. Collector, this is the place. How is this the place? This is where she was taken from us and where we can at last bring her back. All right, let's do it. Only here and only because of what we've achieved. Aw, I'm happy to be of assistance. He opens the book and begins to read aloud. To release a lost one, frozen in time. He throws the pocket watch overboard and tethered by chains in the deep, he throws the necklace overboard. Bind them to this world once more. He throws the ring overboard. Oh, these are what the relics were used for, right? Open the door to the starry heavens. He slots the key into the lock for the music box. And lay the weary world to rest. He throws the music box overboard. Its key left unturned. Alrighty. Oh, we got an achievement. And there it goes. Is she gonna, like, come back now? Oh, something's happening. 
Our light just went out. Uh, I don't like when our light goes out. Oh, is that her? Oh, it is. Oh, it worked. Well, that's a relief. I'm glad I didn't do that for nothing. So it's kind of a huge thunderstorm right now, and what is that? Are you guys seeing this? That looks like a huge Shrek, but a purple version that looks like uh, whatever his name is, Barbosa from Pirates of the Caribbean. It looks like everything. Oh, no. So what happened? What? That's it? Oh, and these are the credits? So, I don't know how long these credits are, guys. I'm just gonna skip them. I know I seem like a horrible person, but... I think that that's the game. I'm just... I don't want to end off the video because there might be something else that I'm missing out on, but this is... The, the credits are gonna be rolling through. Um... Thoughts on the game? I gotta say, I really enjoyed it. For only, like, I think it was a little over 30 bucks, 100% worth it. It was a lot of fun. It took me, like, I think this is episode number 14, and I've put in a little over 20 hours into it, so this is definitely a game I would recommend and I would come back to. But I just realized, look in the background there, is that Greater Marrow? What happened? Is it just... destroyed? I also love the music in the background, like this is very intense. The soundtracks of the game were awesome too. That is actually so sad though, if that's like how things went. Does that mean we all died? Oh man, well, not all things can end happily, can they? Oh, did you guys hear that? That sounded like that boat. That was also a really good addition to the game. I really liked the angler that like looked like a pirate ship that we saw once. Where, like, I thought it actually was a boat, but really anglers, like, their light kind of, that piece of flesh kind of, like, hypnotizes you. I don't know. Of course, you'd never actually see an angler up at these depths. Like, they'd be really, like, really down low. But it just made the game a lot more fun. And I liked how the traveling merchant would uh, travel all around everywhere with you, too. It was a nice surprise. I was worried you'd have to go all the way back to the Marrows just to sell fish. All right, guys, we're approaching the end of the credits now. There's quite a lot of people that went into this game, more than I thought. Like, that's insane how many people worked on this. Like, if one person did this, it would have taken forever. More than a lifetime, probably. But I guess that's it. Do we just hit skip now? Oh, dredging the depths, and yep, that's the game. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the Dredge series. I mean, I had a lot of fun, and I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching. If you've got any more games you'd like me to play, don't hesitate to suggest them down below. And for now, keep dredging the seas, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.